What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In the continuation of my S10 S10 Plus series, I'm here again and today and today's topic is to actually transfer data from your old Samsung account to your new Samsung account. So as you can see, I have my Samsung S10 Plus on right and Samsung S10 Plus on, on left. Uh, so what we're gonna do today in this video, we're gonna transfer all the content from the, the from my old device, it's a Samsung device, to the new Samsung device uh, using the smart switch application already present in, in both of your phones. So let me set up my devices and I'll walk you through how you can do that. Uh, for this, uh, what you need to do is actually you need to get this device. It's a U uh, USB to type C converter and you also need a USB cable. So let's get it started. What you need to do, just put your USB cable in the, in the converter. Oops, wrong side. And uh, this converter actually goes in your S10 Plus, in your new phone. Like that. And connect your other end of your wire to your old device, which is S8 Plus in my case. And once connected, you actually need to uh, run smart switch in your new phone. The phone you actually uh, wish to import the data into. Uh, let's uh, scroll for the smart switch application and uh, and this is my smart switch click on agree to actually continue click start um, now it's asking what you need to do in your new device so if you want to send data click on the send button if you want to receive data click on the receive button so in this case I want to import my data from my previous phone S8 plus to my new phone S10 plus so I'm gonna click on receive data so how do you want to connect? Uh, I'm already connected with cable, so click cable. You need to unplug and plug it back. And um, now you actually need to unlock your previous phone and uh, click on the allow button. And as you can see, two phones are already connected. And now you can actually select what to bring into your new phone. I actually want to bring everything from my previous phone to my new phone um, so everything is checked already so just click on the transfer button and it will actually tell you how much time it's gonna take it it is actually uh, telling me it's gonna take about 45 minutes so I'm gonna leave my phone as it is and let's wait for the process to complete Let, let's click that button to actually uh, keep the screen on for the entire time but do make sure before you actually start this process, your battery is actually um, enough or I would say, you know, more than half so that, you know, you don't, your phone doesn't die out during this process. Because depending on the content in your phone, it might take up to one hour. And if your, you know, phone is actually already connected, the only way to uh, keep it charged would be uh, connecting to a wireless charger. So it has been like 15 minutes and my phone is actually displaying 90% done, 4 minutes left. And uh, during this process you, you will see it, it, uh, there is a message called you can now disconnect the USB cable. So it's actually safe to disconnect the USB cable. I'm going to do it now because the phone has actually uh, you know prepared all the data and uh, prepared the data to actually you know move it into the phone and it's now installing everything. So you don't need to be connected for this. And if you see asset plus it says done copying. So that's done too. So we can remove it. And it's only S10 plus, four more minutes to go. So instead of, you know, 45 minutes, which it was saying initially, I think it, it's just gonna take 20 minutes. So I think everything has been set up. Just click on the done button. And it looks quite similar. It actually does. So you see um, in my previous phone, so let's uh, compare the, you know, my home screen for my previous phone. So as you can see, it is actually quite similar. Calendar, calculator, clock, contacts, gallery. On the next uh, next screen, you have your sound uh, music player on top and the apps, you know, same apps, uh, similar positions. Uh, yeah, this one is not there, visual voicemail, because it's through AT&T and I still need to set up on my new phone. And again, you see on the next page, you know, all the apps are still there in the same position. So that's a very good thing about uh, using Smart Switch. But it actually repositions the, you know, apps on your new phone, similar to the position, uh, you know, it was on your previous phone, which I really like about, you know, using this transfer process. And let's verify the, you know, images and all. 
as you can see my all the images are there my messages are also there let's check out the contacts my contacts are also there so i guess everything is set up so that is it i hope this video was useful for you and if it was hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seeing more cool videos on your you know s10 phone and other technical stuff all right guys i'll see you in the next video